about you this morning. <laughs> but I'm already full. Hallelujah. Come on, let's just stay there. Let's just stay there. Let's just stay there. No better love. That's love. That's love. That's love. That's love. That's love. Yeah. That's love. That's love. That's love. Oh, come on and bless the name of the Lord in this place. I need you to stay right in this atmosphere. The atmosphere has been set this morning. So good to see you. The atmosphere has already been set this morning. LaVon, it's so good to see you. Hallelujah. It's so good to see each and every last one of you this morning. It gives me great honor and a privilege to stand in the steadfast of the Lord on today. That he might use me as his will. That his will be done and my will be lost in his. That every word that proceeds out of my mouth comes from the Holy Ghost. That lives will be changed this morning. Just because God showed up. Because God has a word today. God has a word today. And it's just so funny how God shows up. In a way that only the preachers, I think, understand. That he almost preached my word already. <laughs> he almost preached my whole word already. That's just confirmation. That's just confirmation that God has something to say to this house. Hallelujah. Come on and say hallelujah. this morning. Father God, we come in the mighty name of your son, Jesus. Father God, just to say thank you for another day's journey, for another chance to get it right, for another opportunity to speak what thus saith the Lord. Father God, I pray in the name of Jesus that as I decrease, you increase even the more. Father God, that you speak like never before. God, have your way in this place. Move God. Heal God. Deliver God. Set free God as only you can do, God. You are the only wise God, our eternal Father. And we look to you on today, the author and finisher of our faith. In the mighty name of Jesus, have your way, God. Have your way. Have your way in this place. Let not one word fall to the ground. But let every word go out, Father God, and not come back void. This is my prayer in Jesus' name. And let the whole church say amen. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Don't sit down yet. I don't sit down yet. I don't want to have you get right back up. Turn with me to the book of Isaiah. The 40th chapter. And I believe that I'm going to start at the 28th verse. Say amen when you have it. Amen. Hallelujah. And it reads as this. Hast thou not known? Hast thou not heard? 
that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint. And to them that have no might, he increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary. And the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Now turn over with me to Psalms 38. Excuse me, Psalms 34. My mistake. Verse 8. Psalms 34. Verse 8. And it says, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. I'm going to read that again. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Then we're going to run back. Let's go to Numbers. Last scripture reading this morning. Let's run to Numbers. The 23rd chapter and the 19th verse. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it reads, God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. And you may take your seats. Hallelujah. If I could take for a text this morning, it would be a theme rather. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Because as we've already read in Isaiah 40 and 31, but they that wait upon the Lord, he shall renew their strength. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Giving all thanks and praises to the most high God, who is the head of my life, who is the author and the finisher of my faith. I come to give honor to the apostle of this house, Apostle Moses T. Bethune. Come on, let's give honor to the man of God. Hallelujah. Gives me great, great honor to say to our pastor, Pastor Patricia Bethune, we love you this morning. Thank you for allowing me to preach behind your holy desk. Hallelujah. I give honor to Evangelist Jones. I give honor to Elder Jones. I give honor to, all, to Minister Hinton. I said that wrong. I'm going to go back. Henderson. That's what it is. To Keisha Henderson. To Minister Hayes. To our MITs. To Deacon Anthony Bethune. I don't want to leave anybody out. I pray that somebody's not talking about me, that I would mention a name. But we're just going to keep it moving. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm going to take my time this morning. And let me tell y'all, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be real honest. I'm going to be real honest. I almost thought that I was going to have to come in here this morning and say to my leaders, God didn't give me a word. When I tell you that when God gives you a word, that it fits your spirit first, he actually made me wait. Even though I had all kinds of notes, all kinds of footnotes, he already gave me the theme, he still did not speak. And I sat there, and I sat there. And I sat there until I fell asleep. 
and early this morning. When I tell you early this morning, God opened up my eyes and he began to pour a word into my spirit. It got so fast that I couldn't hardly keep up with what he was trying to say. So I know that God has a word for this house. Now, I don't want to take for granted that everybody knows all of the history about Israel. So I'm going to give just a little, little background. So in this particular chapter, in chapter 40 of Isaiah, the people had been complaining, complaining, complaining. And I kept trying to figure out as I kept reading the word why they were complaining because they were so disobedient. Because they didn't do the things that God had asked of them to do. So now why complain? You're not even worshiping God, but you're worshiping, worshiping idols. You're worshiping Baal. So I'm trying to figure out why they complained. But they complained. The good thing about I like about Prophet Isaiah. Prophet Isaiah was the one that was constantly reminding them of their way of life, how they were living. He judged them. He rebuked them for the things that they had done. But isn't it just like God that even though we mess up, even though we don't do the things that he wants us to do, he still gives us another chance. He does not give up on us. He always still sends another word. So he used the prophet Isaiah to come back to the people of Israel and to tell them, don't complain. Don't worry. God is going to show up. He told me to give you this word of comfort. He said, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. You shall mount up. As wings as eagles you shall walk and not get weary you shall run and not faint I'm here am I right I'm here to remind us today not just you but me that still no matter what it looks like with your natural eye. Because what God said to me this morning, that people of God are so busy strolling on Facebook. You're so concerned about what you see. Everything that you see ain't what it looks like. God says you're looking at people that think they got ministry going on. You're looking at people that think their gifts are moving, that their businesses are taking off, that they got a new home, that they got a new car. That's all right, that you got a promotion. But God says be weary in well-doing. Be weary in well-doing. Hallelujah. What God has for you is for you in the name of Jesus. Be not weary in well-doing. You will reap if you faint not. Be not weary in well-doing, but you will reap if you faint not. So, yes, I keep seeing like I have to fight. I keep feeling like I got to fight. So God says, yes, some of you have already set your plans in motion. That you've already got your own agenda all mapped out. That you're going to do this. You're going to do A, B, C, D, E. And the list can go on and on and on. But in the midst of you trying to do what you want to do, you frustrated. God said the people of God are frustrated because you just can't seem to get it together. So I'm here to tell you, it is not by your strength. It is not by your might. It is not by your power, but by the power of God, says the Lord. So since you have no power without God, you might as well just wait. You might as well just wait. You have no strength on your own. You might as well wait. 
They that wait, I love this scripture, on the Lord, he shall renew their strength. You will walk and not get weary. Don't mind walking. Come on, it's okay to walk. But wait, I say, on the Lord. Be of good courage, and he will strengthen thine heart. Don't get overwhelmed with what you see. Be patient. God says, be patient. Hallelujah. Don't rush the process. It's coming. God says, I'm coming. I'm coming when you're ready. I'm coming. When I get finished molding you, when I get finished opening doors for you, I'm coming. And when I get there, I'm going to release you. And everything that I promised you shall come to pass. Come on, if you believe it, come on and give a shout of praise in this place this morning. I promise you that you are going to soar. God promises that you will mount up wings as eagles you will soar you will soar everything that God has for you is for you you just gotta be patient you just gotta wait wait I say wait I say wait on the Lord wait on the Lord no matter what it looks like you just gotta wait your vision is coming you just gotta wait. Your healing is coming. You just gotta wait. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. Wait on the Lord. Your deliverance is coming. Your deliverance is coming. Your deliverance is coming. Provision is coming. Provision is coming. Strength is coming. Strength is coming. Wait. Wait. Wait, 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 I say on the Lord, and he will. The steps of a good man, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Hallelujah. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. So be not weary. And well doing, you will soar. You will soar. Is there anything too hard for God? Nothing is too hard for God. God is able to do everything, everything, everything. But fail, He will provide. Jehovah Jireh, He will provide. Jehovah. God has promised. God has promised. That's what I love about God. When he makes a promise, the word of God, can he really not make it good? He's a faithful God. He will do just what he said he will do. God can perform miracles that cannot be counted. God can perform wonders that cannot be fathomed. So why worry? But this is the part right here. And I'm, I'm almost done. Because I, I hear y'all saying it. I, I, I hear some of y'all saying, well, what do I do while I wait? Well, well, what do I do while I wait? I'm here to tell you. Praise the name of Jesus. Open up your mouth. Give God a hallelujah. A thank you, Jesus. A glory. Raise your voice. Shout unto God with the voice of triumph. Oh, I praise you. I glorify you. I love you, God. You heard my cry and you pity. Why you pray? Come on, why not go a little further? Why not take it a little bit further, a little bit further, a little bit further? Why not give God your best worship? 
So God says, this is where the problem is. <laughs> This is where the people of God's problem come in at. Because the word of God, I believe, Psalms 100 says, let everything that have breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. God even made the birth, everything that God created. He created them to praise him. But everything can't worship God. You got to be in the right position. You got to be in the right posture. You got to be in the right connection. You got to connect to the Holy Spirit. So while you wait, connect. While you wait, disconnect. Disconnect from the things that are not like God. Those things that so easily beset you, that make you go left when God told you to go right. Disconnect. Disconnect. Turn it off. I don't need you no more. That wayward boy that you keep chasing after. So long, bye-bye. So long, bye-bye. That hoochie mama that you chasing after. That hoochie mama that you go chasing after. So long, bye-bye. So long, bye-bye. God is doing a new thing. God is doing a new thing. I said God is doing a new thing. Just like he did for the Israels. Even though he had them in captivity. He decided to do a new thing. So he sent the prophet Isaiah. By to let them know. They that wait upon the Lord. He will renew their strength. They will mount up. On wings as eagles. They will walk and not be weary. They will run and not faint. Not faint. We serve a God that does not faint. We serve a God that does not be, get weary. He's able to do all things. Exceeding abundantly above all you could ever ask or think. Far beyond our minds, thoughts. God goes far beyond. He's an infinity God. There's no curve that he cannot straighten. There's no rock he cannot pick up. There's no dirt that he won't turn over. You okay as long as you trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not to your own understanding. So in my closing, because I'm finished today. Learn to scroll right past up on Facebook. My pastor said, I'm saying, get off the whole thing. Well, you know what that is? Amen. Captivity. Amen. That's captivity. Because we get so caught up with what we see. That you stuck. And if you dare, if you could, drive to their house. What you saw on Facebook, you won't see when you get there. What am I saying to you today? What am I saying to you today? Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Thank you. He's good to them, Elder, Elder Jones said. To them that wait. How many waiters I got in the house this morning? Come on and be honest. Are you willing to wait? Are you willing to lay aside your agenda and pick up the agenda of the Holy Ghost and walk and not be weary? Are you willing to lay aside your agenda? And as you walk, you walk in the newness of God. Say, God, when you take a step, I'm taking a step right with you. Not behind him. I want to walk with him. I want to walk with him. Because I know he will lead me into all truths. There's no hidden agendas when it comes down to God. God has a plan for you. 
in spite of the fact that we try to have plans on our own, in spite of the fact that we want to do the things that we want to do, which always seems to get us in trouble. But if we just wait on the Lord and let God do this thing for us, there is no failure. There is no failure in God. So if you agree with me today, I'm not asking anybody to come up, but I'm going to ask you to stand. And in your way of showing God that you are now waiting on him, that from now on, from this day forward, it's about God's agenda. I need you to open your mouth. I need you to stand to your feet and open up your mouth. Make a declaration right now, today, that I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. There's a song that says, They that wait on the Lord will renew their strength they shall mount up upon wings as an eagle and soar they shall walk and not be weary they shall run and not faint keep playing y'all got it i'm gonna do it again they that wait on the Lord it shall renew renew their strength they shall mount up upon wings as an eagle and soar they shall walk and not be weary they shall run and not faint. the song says that's what you do when you wait I like that I'm going to say that again y'all got it that's what you do when you wait. <laughs> Y'all willing to wait? Come on, make some noise. They that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up upon wings as an eagle and soar. They shall walk and not be weary. They shall run. And now, that's what you do when you wait. <laughs> that's what you do when you wait. Come on, say it. That's what you do when you wait. That's what you do when you wait. What happens is you get a little bit stronger. God gives you strength. Come on, keep singing it. Shall renew their strength. Don't stop. They shall mount up upon wings as an eagle and soar they shall walk and not be weary they shall run and not faint that's what you do when you wait come on those of you that are waiting y'all need to tear this foundation up today with your declaration that i'm not going back to the way things used to be but I'm moving forward in the things of God. God is my refuge. He's my strong tower. He's my strength. He's my defender. He's my keeper. Hallelujah. That's what you do when you wait. That's what you do when you wait. That's what you do when you wait. Is there anybody that want to come forward today? Is there anybody that's in need of a prayer today? That you just want to touch and agree with somebody about the promises of God that has been made to you.
There's healing in your way. That's what you do when you wait. There's deliverance in your way. That's what you do when you wait. There's healing in your That's way. What you do when you wait. There's deliverance in your way. That's what you do when you wait. There's strength in your way. That's what you do when you wait. There's strength in your way. That's what you do when you wait. Salvation is in your way. That's what you do when they somebody else God said needs to come to the altar this morning hallelujah you need to let it go God says come on and let it go there's work for you to do let's not get caught up in what other people are doing God has something for you That's what you do when you win. 